Hi, Raphael. Hi, teacher. How are you? Well, not so good. <laughs> Why? What happened? Um, I've been with flu, a strong flu, so. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, when did you start? Yesterday, after I finished the class, uh, it started. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, but I don't know. Wow, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, could it be like allergies or you think it's a cold? Well, I think it's, it, it's by the weather, I think, because when the weather is like, like that, I always, uh, I am always like with a flu. Wow, oh, okay, okay. Um, so you're, it's kind of like you're allergic or something like that. Yes, I am allergic. Teacher? Because if you say that the weather causes, is it, so it sounds yeah. like maybe you're, you have like allergy because of like allergy season or something like that? Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. What, what is the difference between sign and signal? But well, there is no difference. Sign and signal? Yeah. It all depends but, on what you're talking about. Like okay. sign can be like, for example, you sign a paper. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But for example, I was I was um listening to um a song. Yeah. That said I should have seen it. Uh, let, me, let me say, it. Okay, let me let me check. Yeah. I should have read the signs. Ah, okay. Like señales. I don't know if it's like that. Yes. Yes, correct. Uh huh. Yeah. What? Okay. Um. Signal. I, I think the difference basically is that. A sign is um, something that is not done intentionally, and a signal is something that you you do to cat to to catch someone's attention. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so so. Yeah. Um, it's like okay. For example. Um, you can say, uh, okay, there are signs that there, yeah. there are signs that, uh, it's going to rain, for example. So maybe yeah. it's a sign, yeah. it maybe is uh, very dark. Um, yeah. There is a lot Cloudy of, audio, something like that. So that's a sign. Okay. That's something like in yeah. interpretation of what's gonna happen. So that's a sign. Whereas a signal is something like somebody would do like on purpose to catch another person's attention. Okay. Uh, so for example, you, you can say, you're giving me mixed signals. You're giving me mixed Okay. Signals. So it means that the person is causing the, um, yeah. the signal, right? So they are doing it on purpose to get your attention. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay, good. good. Um, okay. All right, guys, um, we are, well, hello, guys, by the way. Um, I have Josue, how are you, Josue? Hi, teacher. Good. Good evening. Good evening. I'm okay. How you doing? Just, just arriving home. Wow, you get home very late. Yeah, I was with my girlfriend in her house. Oh, okay. I thought you were getting home from, from work. But if you were at your girlfriend's and you were having fun. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. 
Um, and how was work today? Josue, how was work today? It yeah, it was fun. It was very easy. Okay, good. I work in sales and I I have Okay. Hey. Thanks. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad everything has uh, has been working out today. Okay. And uh, Luis, how are you, Luis? Uh, fine, fine. Thank you. Yeah? What about you? Yeah, it, it's really, 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 really fine. I am enjoying this, this weather. <laughs> okay, all right, good, good. Okay, Alex, how are you, Alex? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. I'm fine, a little bit uh, busy, but I'm fine. You've been busy? Yeah, I have been uh, doing homeworks of the university every day. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm good. <laughs> You're good, okay. Excellent. Estela, how are you? Teacher, good evening. Fine, teacher. I have a, a busy day. No, I'm asking you if everything is okay. What? Is everything okay? okay. I, I listen another voice very oh. loud. Okay, but can you hear me right now? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, so tell me, uh, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Fine, fine. Good. I had a busy day. Ah, okay. Okay, good. All right, but uh, not, not too busy, right? Very busy, yes. Oh, very busy? Oh, okay. Yes. Well, yes. busy days are good in a way because they... Um, that way we don't feel the time if it just go by so quickly and then then the the weekend is yes. here right so that's that's a good thing yeah and maricela yes. we have something pending remember from yesterday yes teacher okay did and you, so did I you think do it? understand yes i okay. do it good good all right you're going to share with us in a moment just let me say hi to the rest of the people Okay, and you're gonna share. Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, Dennis, how are you? Oh, hi, I'm doing great, thank you. Good, good, good. And uh, how was your day? Um, just uh, chilling at home, so nice weather, so nice. Okay, good, excellent. Diana, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So I'm I'm well. I'm fine because the weather is very delicious. Okay, good, excellent. All right, sounds good. Your how was today at work? Uh, sorry? Sorry, uh, how was today at work? Fine. Fine. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Um, and Josue, how are you, Josue? Oh, no, sorry. I already said hi to him. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Thank you, but let me see who I um who I haven't said hi. Uh, Claudia, I think Claudia. I haven't said hi to Claudia. Good evening, teacher. Um, 
Well, I'm I'm a little bit tired, but I'm fine. Why are you tired? Because I was doing homework all the day from the university. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, that's tough. Okay, but you finished? Yeah. Okay, good, excellent, all right. And Delmi, I also have Delmi. How are you, Delmi? Hello, good evening. I'm good, thank you. Good. Everything is good. good. All right, I'm glad to hear that. How was today's uh, How was today at work? Everything was good. I was a little bit busy, but I'm a little tired and I'm ready for the class, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to be ready. Yeah. Good, good. I like that yes. attitude. All right. Good. Okay. Thanks. All right. And Pamela, how are you? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Um, I'm good. Thanks. Um, it was a good day. It was a good day? Excellent. Okay, good. All right. So we're almost um, at the weekend now. Um, so I hope you guys, do you have any plans? Any plans for the weekend? No yet. Not yet? Okay, okay. All right. Just remember, we have we do have plans for tomorrow, right? You guys remember what the plans are for tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, yes teacher. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? We have classes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have classes. Okay, so don't forget about that because we want to be no. able to see you. We don't want to. Um, uh, we we want to be able to to see that you um, that you're here the last day of class. Remember, this is the last. This is going to be the last day of this module. Okay, and remember, yeah. we're also going to be uh finishing off the platform tomorrow this like if you finished it great but if you haven't you have until tomorrow at 11 59 so you have a little bit more a little bit less than 27 hours okay so you have like 26 hours and 45 minutes <laughs> okay to be able to finish so i really need you guys um, to really work on that if you haven't yet Anybody that is not, okay, is anybody not on section five? It's, it's not a Babyly teacher. Sorry? Anybody is not, anybody is not a Babyly, a Babyly. Available? Yes. <laughs> what do you mean? No. We have not permission for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. You're right. You don't, yeah. Yeah. It's not an option. You're right. Exactly. Yes. Um, and, and I just want to make sure anybody that is not on section five right now, if you haven't finished, it's okay. But I, I need to know at least that you are on section five. Yes. Anybody yes. that needs help because I can help you but only if you tell me. So everything's okay? I guess so. Yeah? Teacher. Yeah? If, if we have enrolled in, to the course, yeah. are you going to teach us the next course or it's, a, it's going to be different? Person. Uh, we usually rotate, so um, oh, okay. yeah, we're going to be having new teachers. Um, so and, and it's that... going to be okay. It's going Sorry? to be a, a it's going to be a new new link for the class. Yes, we're everything to... changes every time. There is a new module. Everything changes. There's going to be um, oh. yeah. We can get like out the playlist. Oh, okay. The um the 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 URL for the conference is going to change everything. Everything changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after we finish this course, we can get out of the group. What's the group? And it's no problem. Um. Or we gotta remain there. 
Let me, I, that's a very good question. And I don't know the answer. <laughs> so um, let me find out for you because I really okay. don't, I'm not, I'm not completely sure about that answer. Um, I know we as teachers have to uh, be joining new groups, but I don't know you as a class. Um, what about the other people um, that have come from the other courses before? Um, how, what have you done in the past? This is my first time. Yeah, I know, I know. But um, anybody here that is not the first time? So everybody here is the first time? No teacher, for no, me it's the, no, the third. Uh, it's the third. Okay, good. So in the past, the... for the people yeah. that have been, uh, that this is like not the first course, in the past with the WhatsApp groups, have you left the groups? No, no, no. Um, <laughs> the manager, the manager of uh, just changes the English the, the, the administrator changes the, 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 um, the name, I guess, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I imagine. Uh, yes, you're right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so in that case, Raphael, stay there. Okay. Don't don't leave the okay. the, um, the WhatsApp group. Okay. The manager, what sort the, the the administrators, what they're going to do is simply change the name of the course. Okay. Well, unless Raphael, okay. in your case, I just remembered that in your case, might, might, might you might have to go to another another level because of the test that you did. So yeah, you'll have to be, you'll have to see if they they change if you they change levels then yes. But if not, stay in the same group. Okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, anyways, uh, what are we going to do? Hello, right? teacher. Oh. Hi, yeah. Yes, Mama. Uh, Christian. Um, problem with some with the part. And I want to ask you how I can. And tomorrow morning to me, I can ask you some questions about this part in this platform. Sorry, Pamela, I didn't very hear you very well. I don't know if it's my connection, but I, I, I didn't hear you very well. Can you repeat? It's her connection, right? Yeah, you're right. It's a bad connection, actually. Actually, yes. Yeah, it has been very bad. Yeah, the connection. I mean, if you guys have Claro, it's been yeah. bad, bad all day. <laughs> yeah, too bad. Yeah, it's there. There's Same. Like having a war. Have problems all day. I Good hate Claro, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I hate Claro, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this is no, it's not a commercial but, but, or anything but, like that. But your bill, your bill is there each month. <laughs> Sorry? The signal is bad, but your bill is there every month. <laughs> yes, yes. But you can complain, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah I but mean, they with don't any, do anything. Any, <laughs> with any service you have if, if you're not getting the service that you want you can always complain right and yeah. uh they, they should be able to to help you out right so, yeah right? Uh, yeah so anyways, i don't want yeah, to say a... i don't want to say oh. bad word in english teacher please change the the subject <laughs> <laughs> okay i really i put okay, some I it, comments and the uh, Facebook, uh -huh. Facebook, claro. Yeah. Oh, but I really hate. <laughs> really? Okay. Wow. Okay. So you can you topic. can see that in 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 their page. Oh, okay, okay. I haven't gone into <laughs> the page. 
Uh, since I've been working all day, I haven't actually had a chance to do that. But then uh, today, I, I I had to give, I had to connect, and I noticed that I was having lots of problems. So I was going to call them, and that's how I found out that they were having because there was they they had a recording that said that they were um, having problems. So I, I I realized that everybody it was not just me that was having the problems. But you know, sometimes that happens with with um with technology. I mean, yeah. what can you do? It's technology is great, but sometimes it it it, it is a, a a pain in in the you know what. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, anyways, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So guys, uh, well, it's changing the topic here. Um, Maricela, you had uh, some a sentence for us, right? You want to share? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> something I like about this word is that it's cloudy and foggy. Or something I like, like about this weather. Something yes. that I love about days, like today, is cloudy weather. Something like that. Something I like about today is. Uh huh. But that was the first one. Some, that that is the, the the first one. What you were having trouble with. Mani, uh, Mani said that yesterday was the second one yeah. where you have it as an object. So try saying that same sentence but making it an object. So all you have to um, do is put it the other way around. Cloudy and foggy, it's something that I like about this word. Uh, clouds, it would be wrong? clouds and fog, not cloudy and fog, because cloudy and um, is is an adjective. We can't start sentences with ad, with adjectives. It has to be a noun. In this case, it, it would be the noun is clouds, las nubes, right? So, clouds and fog. Mm -hmm. Continue. Cloud and fog is something that I like about this word. Good, excellent, excellent. Except the only thing you had to change there is uh, using, instead of using is, we, we use are, because clouds and fogs are two things. Yes, it's true, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But that's it, but yeah. You got it, very good, Maricela, excellent. I have, sorry, I have problem with, um, it's difficult to me to think in English. Um, I want to. I wanted to say. Uh, no había sol. So, I understand that I can say something like that. There isn't sun, for for example. So I'm learning it. Yes. Uh, yeah. If you want to say about that, there's not any uh, sun you would probably have to remember, you need to have a, a, a subject, a noun. So in that case, um, the best thing to do is change so that it's a noun. So instead of saying like, no hay sol, you would say something like, la falta de sol. Does that make sense? No. La falta de sol would now become a noun. It would make it a noun. Okay. Okay. So instead of saying no hay sol, which is not a noun, you want to make it, you want to change it to a noun. So you would say la falta de sol. In English, missing la falta, sun? how do you say la falta in English? Missing sun? Sorry? Or the lack of sun. Exactly. The lack missing of sun. Missing sun? Okay. The lack of sun. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So you could say, Marisa, you could say the lack of sun. Um, okay. What was what was what was the other part? 
On, only, only that, teacher. La falta de sol. Oh. Uh, but when you were saying it yesterday. Uh -huh. did you say that, like Yesterday. Um, is I, One thing that I like about this day is the recent... It's the recent song, something like that. I, I wrote. So uh, you could say, in that case, you would say the lack of sun is something I like about yeah. this day. Lack of sun. Is, the is lack of sun, the falta de sol, is algo que me gusta de este día. Okay. Okay. All okay. Right. Good. All right. Um, okay, let me see. Just give me one second. Um, okay. Yesterday, Let's see, just give me a second here. Hmm. Okay, so yesterday, guys, um, what is wrong here? <clears throat> Sorry guys, I don't know why it's not cooperating here with me. It is claro, teacher. No, this is my computer. <laughs> this one's my computer. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, okay. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do today, okay, now that we've done that, uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to uh, be learning a little bit about expectations, okay? Uh, oh, by the way, is, is there anything else that you want to ask me about uh, the topic that we saw yesterday? No, teacher. So noun, noun phrases with relative clauses is clear, both in the in the, um, I use it as a subject and as an object. Yeah. It's clear? Yes, or do you have questions that you want to ask me? No? Okay. All right. So in that no. case, what we're going to do is let's talk about expectations. Okay. Let's, start, let's uh, talk a little bit about that topic expectations what you do what do you expect okay you understand expectations you understand that meaning of expectations yeah yeah okay all I right mean, so I mean, let's I mean, talk I mean, about I mean. that um let's see Expectations. All right, this is something that we um, talk a lot about when we're talking about um, things that are considered to be uh, right and of good manners, for example, in different countries. Okay, so what do you expect? Like in, when you, when, um, when somebody Let's say, let's say that when somebody um, invites you to their house, okay? Let's say um, a neighbor, a neighbor invites you to their house for dinner. What expectations do you have about the person that has invited you? At least teacher, uh... 
receive a glass of water? <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I, I would. I, I would. I would expect the same thing, right? They're going to be inviting me. I would expect them to at least give me a glass of water. Okay, good. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. What else? What other expectations? Any other expectations? Um, I don't know, but maybe if it's a like a a, a birthday, for example. Um, sorry, what was that, Rafael? Because some people. Sorry, because uh, I I mean, if sometimes when people want to make a party, but for example, a dinner, uh, for a birthday. Sometimes you're supposed to take a gift, at least, I imagine. Sorry, Fayel, I don't know if it's me or, or what is, but I, can, I, can, I can't hear you very well. Can you speak a little bit louder? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> I don't know, I think it's my, my signal. I was saying that Sometimes when you are invited for a dinner, it's because they are going to celebrate a birthday or something like that, something right. special. Um, and so I imagine that they are expecting that you, for you to take um, a gift at least. I don't know. Okay, very good. All right. So one of the expectations mm -hmm. would be that you have to take something, right? Okay, right, so take something with you like a gift or um, maybe a, 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 bur a, a cake or something like that, right? Okay, good. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, there are basically two different ways that you can talk about expectations, okay? Um, So, uh, for example, you can say, um, let's see. when, so we can start with when, let me take away this. <clears throat> when or if plus so we're going to have a when or if um and then we have the, then we would have the clause, right? Okay. Sorry, if or when clause. Do you understand what I mean by if or when? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, um, with this is this is uh, used with the zero conditional, right? When we have a zero yeah. conditional, it's, it's possible to use the word when instead of if. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, it's possible to use uh, similar to the word when. It's also possible to use whenever. Yeah. Okay, that's another another word that is also possible there. Okay. Now, um, okay. so when or if, when, if, or whenever clause. And after that, <laughs> a, after that, we can use different possibilities here. Um, so, for example, we can use 
Um, oh, well. Um, sorry. I made a mistake here. I forgot to. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I made, yeah, I made a mistake. Let me change this. It's not necessarily you. It can be any subject. Okay. Let's make this a little bit smaller so that it fits, otherwise it won't fit. Okay, that's fine. So if, uh, so when, if, or whenever clause plus the subject. And then after that, we can use different um, different words here. Okay. Some of the words that you can use are, for example, um, Give me a second. Um, yeah. Okay. So we can say plus um, um, the expected to or be supposed to, oh, sorry, let's get the word be, or be, um, you expect, um, hold on, what's the other one? Trying to remember which one it is. Um, yeah, okay, pretty much that one. Okay, and so that's a possibility. I think those were the only two. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, what happened? Okay. All right, so that's that's one possibility. The other possibility is to do this. Um, let me write here. The other possibility is to put not not just uh, well, this one's for any subject. Can be you, he, she, yeah, you, he, she, um, we, they, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you can also use the subject it. If we use the subject it, then it would be is plus is plus a, um, we can say um, the custom listen to, or we can say, um, So we can use not the word not in here. Okay. Um, does this make sense for you guys? I don't know if this actually makes sense or not. So I just want to. So basically, this part here. Um, let's see. So this part here is always going to be the same, okay? 
this part here is going to is going to always be when or if or whenever clause. And after that, if you noticed, there's a comma. Right? Do you guys notice that? Yeah. Okay, so I wrote a comma. Let me see if I can. Okay. So, um, and so we're always going to have the comma here. We're always going to use a comma because it, what it does is separates the two ideas here. Okay. okay. And after that, we can have two options. Okay. After that, we can have two options. The options are either to use um hold on oops. the options are either to use well, any subject it can be you it can be p it could be she it could be we or it could be they etc cetera, etc cetera. And then plus B. So if it would be he, it would be is. If it's we, it would be are. Okay. And then we can either use expected to or supposed to. The other possibility is to use. Let me just move this a little bit over. The other possibility is to use um, this over here which is um, either using it is plus custom to or it is s up to two and if it's negative we can use the not at the beginning so far so good does this make sense yes yes teacher okay and after that we would have simply the Okay, then we have plus the verb plus the complement. Usually we always have a complement for this one because without the complement, it doesn't really make sense. Okay, and that would be the next part. Okay, so. Um, There you go. Okay. So, any questions about this so far about the structure? Any questions? Anything you want to ask? This is a structure. I, I haven't given you sentences yet. I just want to know if the structure makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So far, so good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to give you some, some examples now so that you can see how this works. Okay. Um, let's start over here. Okay. And for example, when um, somebody invites you to their house. And here is we have the here we have the if the when clause, right? Over here would be the when clause. Oops. All right, um, so when somebody invites you to their house and then we have, we can use, I'm gonna actually use two different um, structures here. I'm gonna use one with this one and one with this one. Okay. For example, um, 
when somebody invites you to the house, eh, you or um, they are expected to give you um, at least a glass of water. Okay. So there you have it. We have um, So we have that one right there. So like I said before, um, we have the first part here, which is the, the if, sorry, the, the when clause. The when clause is right there. Okay. And then of course we have the comma that separates the two ideas, right? After that, we have the, uh, the subject plus the expected to, in this case it's they. And finally we have the verb plus the complement. Okay. Sounds good, everybody? Does this make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. And how would it be in the case that uh, it would be uh, that it were negative? For example, uh, they aren't expected or they are expected to not to be. How would it be in negative? Yeah, in that case, if it's negative, then of course, yes, we can put the, the not um, over here at the beginning, right? So, um, let's see. I'm trying to write. Doesn't want to work. Okay. Let's see. I think I should have done it the other way around. Let me try something else. Let me try something different. Here. But the thing is that it could be after the verb to be, I might. Yeah, exactly. Okay, no, that's not it. And couldn't be after two, an infinitive, two, not two. No? Uh, sorry, where? Uh, after here, you mean? For, I'm, 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 go I'm going to write it um, in the chat so that you can. Okay. Better. Mm -hmm. um, because, for example, today I was look, I was looking at the uh, notes of Telus International, and they they had used, for example, with BS two, they had put uh, after two, two not two, forget, for example, <laughs> and I and I only have read before, but after the bird to be. Uh, yeah, but I think that's another structure. It wouldn't be this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be this one. Okay, um, I'm just trying to, I'm still having trouble over here, guys. I'm sorry, I don't know why. It just won't work. I'm trying to. Maybe if I do, okay, I'm gonna try something. Maybe this works. Yeah, I think this will work. 
Oh, okay. I know. I see what's going on. Okay. All right. Um, is you want? It would be after here. That it is. Mm -hmm. Both would be good or or only the first? No, both of them. Both of them would be okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there you go. That's how it would be in the negative. Okay, there you go. All right, now I'm gonna, and so the, uh, right now for this one, I only use this one. Now I'm gonna use one of this, okay? So you can see it. Um, so when somebody invites you to their house, I'm gonna be using now a negative, okay? So you can say it is uh, not, uh, acceptable to arrive two hours later. Right, even El Salvador. <laughs> you know, in El Salvador, people <laughs> yeah. arrive very late, but even El Salvador, it's not a Right, okay. Except, so. except El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not even El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, that would be very rude for going two hours late, right? I mean, 30 minutes in El Salvador, it's okay, right? Even probably one hour, but two when hours. When everybody late. has a ready gun. <laughs> Sorry? When everybody has a ready gun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> everybody has already left by then. Um, okay, so there you go. So that's something that you would expect. Now I'm gonna do one with um, if, okay? I'm gonna, let me do one with if. Yeah. So if, if you, um, if you, um, if you, uh, let me see. Let me think of a situation. If you, um, if you, uh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm going to use, uh, well, no, let me change that. If you um, buy a, no, no. Let me see. If you change um, your a neighborhood, okay, let's say. If you change your neighborhood, and then over here, we're gonna say, I'm going to, I'm gonna use the other one, okay? I'm gonna say in this name, um, this one I said expected to, now I'm gonna use supposed to, okay? So if you change your neighborhood, you are not supposed to, um, you're not supposed to, oh, what are you not supposed to do if you change your neighborhood? Um. What expectations would you have for somebody that has um, not, has changed their neighborhood? How about this one? You're not supposed to forget about your friends. Right? Yeah. So just because you changed your neighborhood, maybe your friends yeah. live next door, 
but it doesn't mean that you're going to forget about them just because you move somewhere else. Right? Right. Okay, you're not supposed to forget about your friends. Okay, so that's an expectation there. Again, we would have um, So if you change about your neighborhood here, then we have the comma. Don't forget the comma, guys. We need the comma. That's part of the structure. If in the platform, if you don't put that comma, it's probably going to get give it to you wrong. Okay. So don't forget about the comma. Okay. Then you then you say, teacher, what's the problem? I have it correct, but it's because of that punctuation. So don't forget about that. Okay. So you're not Teacher, supposed in that, in that in that case, why don't you put, for example, from your neighborhood? It's not necessarily put from or of your neighborhood. If you change your neighborhood, um si cambias tu vecindario. Oh, from your neighborhood. Um that would be move if you move from your neighborhood. But change, you don't oh, okay. you, you don't use any sub any prepositions with change. You can move from okay. someone somewhere, but um, change you never use a preposition. Okay. 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 Um, okay. So you are not supposed to. And then here we have the verb plus a complement. Okay. Plus complement here. Okay, so you're not supposed to forget about your friends. Okay, and I'll give you one more just to make it clear there. And I'm going to um, once again use the opposite. So in this one, I use it is not acceptable, which is this one. I'm not going to use this one, it's custom to. Okay, um, so. For example, this is probably not something that you do in El Salvador, but we can say it is the custom. Oh well, well actually no. I'll I'll give you okay, I'll give I'll give you something that's a custom in El Salvador. It is cu the custom to invite your uh, friends. To um to um to your new house. Okay, so if your if your friend changes their neighborhood, you probably um, your expectation is that they're going to invite you to their new house so that you can see where they live. Right, that would be the custom. So here we have the other one. Okay. It is custom too. And then the other one over here, which is um, the verb. The verb is invite and the compliment your friends to your new house. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah, any questions, anything you want to ask? No. Teacher, so yeah? in that case, you are not supposed to forget. I could put something like, you are supposed to not, not to forget also. If I say no, like I, would, I, I would know you are supposed to not forget. No, I would say, um, supposed to not forget about your friends. No, I no. would say you are, you are supposed to, you are not, you are supposed to remember oh. your friend, your friend, remember about your friend. So it would, I would probably use the opposite. We don't want to make it too complicated okay. there. So okay. the opposite of not forget, well, better said, not forgetting is to remember, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you are okay, supposed okay. to remember. Okay. You're supposed to remember. Okay. All right. Any questions? No. Not the chair. Okay. All right, guys. So tomorrow, what we're going to be doing, tomorrow's our last class. Tomorrow, what we'll be doing is we'll be um, talking a little bit um, about the, um, the, okay, so I'm just, I'm just looking at something where I wrote, uh, they're, they're not expected to give you, they are expected not to give you. They are expected to not give you. Yeah, you could. You could do that. In that case. Okay. Yeah, and that one is okay. Uh huh. Not so common, but it's possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, tomorrow is our last class together. Uh, what we're going to be doing, like I said, is we're going to be looking at the final exam for those people that um, have not uh, finished their the final exam so we're going to be looking at the final exam making sure everybody understands it uh, if you have questions you can ask me about the about um, any exercises that you want to look at and we're going to be practicing um making conversations about things um about expectations uh that people have in different countries of the world okay so that will be all then any questions you guys have before we leave? No. No, no, no. Thank you. You sure? Yes. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So that will be all for today then. Um, oh, just, just a quick up before we leave. I'm going to ask you to do this. To, um, this uh, poll again. I just want to make sure, I really want to make sure that everybody is where you're supposed to be. So if you could please do the, quickly the poll. Oh, okay, good. Good, good. I still have some people who, has, who haven't voted. Okay, there are more people. Okay. Don't don't like. Uh, I mean, just to tell me the truth. I mean, I don't. I like even if you are starting section one, but tell me, okay? I I really want to know. I really I'm interested in finding out where you guys are. Okay. I think this is one more person that hasn't voted. Okay, but uh, from this moment, uh, well, from what it looks like, it's perfect. Um, pretty much everybody, well, everybody is in section five or above, which is awesome. Excellent. Okay, everybody has voted. Perfect. Hey, excellent, guys. I'm very proud of you. Okay, good. You are exactly where you're Thank supposed you. to be. And there are six of you that have already um, finished the platform. So, yay. Okay, excellent, guys. I'm really um, happy for you guys. Um, that means that definitely you will be going to the next, if you finish the platform and you've given all of your uh, paperwork in, that means that you will definitely be qualified for, for the next level. So that'll be great. Okay, guys, it's been great seeing you. Um, take care, uh, stay safe, and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, good night, tomorrow. teacher. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Have a good night, everyone. Good night.